Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. So today's video is just about celebrities who have Asperger's Syndrome. Okay, so my first celebrity I'm going to talk about who has Asperger's Syndrome is Adam Young, or more popularly known as Owl City. Owl City is a musician, or a fellow musician should I say. He's a multi-musician, which means he plays multiple different instruments, like myself. Adam Young is really famous for a song called Fireflies, and he also did a song with Kylie Ray Jepsen. It was It's Always a Good Time, I think was the, the song. He did come out in an interview and explain that he had Asperger's Syndrome, which is kind of cool, and it helps relate to people with a musical background. So celebrity number two is Dan Aykroyd, best known for his roles in Ghostbusters. He wrote and was in Ghostbusters. Dan Aykroyd is a really famous actor and writer. He also suffers from Asperger's Syndrome and he also suffers from Tourette's Syndrome. It does document the fact that he barks in his sleep sometimes, which I've actually been accustomed to myself. Weird. Number three is Nikola Tesla, one of the best scientists in the world and one of the most underrated scientists in the world as well. And Nikola Tesla is the kind of uh, guy who you want to really thank because we have electricity because of him in this current we take it in now. We have electricity in our houses thanks to Nikola Tesla. Also, uh, there is a company named after him called Tesla Motors or Tesla Electronics who make electronic cars and super batteries. Well, celebrity number four is a woman called Susan Boyle who was really famous for singing on Britain's Got Talent, a TV show over here, pretty much like America's Got Talent. She sang on there like an opera singer and everyone was kind of amazed by her voice because of her unusual appearance because Susan Boyle has an unusual appearance in the fact that she isn't like your typical person who really puts on loads of makeup or really does their hair or puts on a certain outfit to impress anybody. Susan kind of does her own thing in her own style which is pretty awesome. Susan has Asperger's Syndrome but it wasn't diagnosed until after she was really famous. Susan kind of likes to live in this, the same house. She's always lived in the council house which is kind of like the projects you guys call it in America. Accommodation is kind of low-key, really cheap but she's like a multi-millionaire. One of the most famous people on the planet actually is Susan Boyle. So yeah, very interesting. Number five celebrity with Asperger's Syndrome is an America's Next Top Model star, Heather Kuzmich. Now Heather Kuzmich was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome which is obviously one of the most famous models in American TV and American media. So that's pretty kind of cool. Number six, the last celebrity with autism that I'm going to speak about is a guy called guy called Craig Nichols who is in a band called The Vines. He was on tour, I think they're an Australian band and they were on tour and he had an unusual behaviour pattern getting into all kinds of trouble. So they took him to a psychological screening and a test for ASD and it turns out he had Asperger's syndrome. Since then he has been able to control it by not drinking a lot of alcohol, reducing his fast food intake. Now I think he's on a gluten-free diet and he's more focused on the music which definitely helps so that's pretty awesome hey guys thank you for watching my video of the celebrities who have Asperger's syndrome if you like it please give me a thumbs up because it's always nice to have thumbs up please leave a comment in the comment section below if you know of any other celebrities who have Asperger's syndrome or autism if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button below because I've got loads more videos than this and there'll be loads coming up so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time bye guys hey guys in true Halloween fashion I'm wearing a boo t-shirt check it out but I got this in my geek box a boo a boo no I mean a boo t-shirt the definitive article a and then or uh and then boo um anyway but the thing is we've got to bring our torches for this because there's a oh